So this is what happened when I touched the uh, water bucket today. It's like dirt all over it. Not funny. But I'm just having a quick walk before I go inside because i got stuff to do. Um, yeah, the dog spent another night off the property and it's like kind of annoying. Last night it was like talk about giving the dog away because if they can't get them to stay on the property and treat the family home like they're part of the family so they're thinking of giving them away and I'm like don't don't get any more big dogs really you want they want they actually want a purse puppy like a, a small dog you know and then they go for oh but I want a medium dog and then it's like oh but I want this medium dog which is essentially a large dog so <laughs> And so, so the trouble is, you know, that they can't handle the bigger dogs. And then they're like, oh, you know, up in arms that dogs are unruly. So, because the good thing, advantage is small dogs can be just picked up and taken wherever. And the bigger dogs are harder to just pick up, you know, and lead if... They really are stubborn, so. But anyway, that's their problem. If they want to give the dog away, I can't help them. I'm broke. I myself am broke. I just got paid today, and I only have a hundred dollars left. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know where it goes. Jeez, a uh, hundred dollars to last two weeks, and I'm like, I don't think so. So. I'm in, I'm in trouble with the with my um <coughs> with my finances cuz I haven't got a job and I'm being shy about starting my own business cuz I know you, you can probably get in trouble a little bit sometimes so um I'm a little nervous of starting it even though I have everything in place to start it it's like I'm kind of nervous about starting it because <clears throat> I don't know why. I mean, I just am. And so I haven't really started it ever since I opened the business like over one and a half years ago. So I'm like, geez, this is my last year where I can make an impression. Um, but I'm closing my PO box this month. I, I know it's connected to something, but I can't remember what on earth I connected the PO box to um, besides this business that isn't actually functioning right now. <laughs> so, it's just so expensive. I just need a job and then, yeah, I can spend three or $500 re restarting the website and then I can think about perhaps, I'm thinking about opening a business account with maybe St. George or something. So, I don't know. Um, I'll see. <laughs> um, but I've got to put, like, at least $500 away for it. And I was like, $500? <laughs> but I'm, I'm seriously trying to get a job, but it's just like, you know, I did a video thing yesterday, and I probably didn't say the right things. And, <clears throat> um... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not quite the part for, you know, high-end things, and this was a high-end sales closing job, and it's like, I don't know what I was rambling on about, but I probably should write myself a script before I start talking. <laughs> it's the only way I'll become the artist. I don't know what to say. I don't know what impresses people, but I probably should have said I'm studying right now, but I don't know. Talking of which, I have to submit at least an hour towards study today. <clears throat> because um, our new course has the lectures only on video. Um, so I have to watch a boring video rather than being... I, I like the interactive of live lectures on the internet, like on web chat. I think it's more engaging. And I sort of made sure that I was trying to attend them. Because I like to ask questions and I like their whole live interaction but now it's like now it's I have to watch a video and it's a lot more boring essentially <laughs> I'm like what's a video
video. How long is it going to take? Uh, an hour. But, um, I'll get through it. I first have to, I finished editing one of my books yesterday, so I get to publish that this morning. And I also uh, have to write another, at least five pages, really. If not 10 to 15 to catch up from yesterday. I usually write about 10 pages. Um, but yesterday I was like five pages. I was like, just, just not there yesterday. So I did more editing than writing. So, like, well, at least I finished one book. That's an achievement. And who knows? Maybe it'll go viral and I'll get some support somehow. And I don't know. But. I'd sort of have to wait and see. I desperately need a job. I need some money because I'm really lagging behind. That sin sin money isn't really doing it. So <laughs> I'm virtually like scraping. Like I'm only bluffing my way through through the lack of money that I have. So I can. And I don't have access to one of my accounts, which is my major credit card account um, that I use for most credit card, pur debit card purchases. So um, their one-time passwords don't work on my phone for some reason. I think it's possibly because I have a cheap brand phone and because they're <laughs> such a wealthy organization, they like have a particular ban on being able to communicate with cheap brand phones and so maybe I just have the right phone to have issues with the uh, one-time passwords and stuff but I don't know but that's stopping me from transferring money of course I'm going to use where I get my spare money from I'm going to use a portion of the account to fund my St. George account which I opened a couple weeks ago so and then I'll have some extra money there. And I'm thinking about seriously transferring my business to a business account with St. George. I don't know. I mean, essentially, they're like, yeah, it's, a it's it's not a legitimate business. Don't worry about a business account. But I think I might you know, try a business transaction account with the, with possibly the money the money going through it I don't know I'm not sure but anyway I want to go and do... Yeah, I had a good sleep last night, but I wake up at early, like, 6... I got up at 6.30 to check if the dog was around. They weren't... And they weren't dead on the lawn. I had visions last night where they were gobbling down a cane toad and then dying of poison, so... That's why I bothered to get up early to check if they were around and... Anywhere on the property, but they weren't, so they were with a neighbour, so... And... Uh, yeah, other than that, you know, I just stayed awake, I played games, did a f quite a few surveys for once, and, yeah, and now I just have to do my writing and work a bit, so, I did a, a quite a good day with work yesterday, did quite a couple of hours, and I got one, I got one booking, so... But I have to confirm on Friday, so it's like, oh, yay, I got one. Um, they've been having problems with my bookings lately, so it's like, you know, they've been trashing half my bookings usually, so <coughs> hopefully it's solid enough for the picky people who accept the bookings. You know, it's like, sometimes I feel like they're just tearing apart my good work. <laughs> but then you realize, well, there's some sort of, I don't know, there's some sort of point where that's open to speculation and not a solid booking, pretty much, they ascertain. 
And I'm like, really? Because, you know, they said they pretty much had an account with pretty much the round amount. And I don't know. It's really a picking up on, on words, I think. But it's, it's criticized. It's corrupting my, my profits. Never mind. And so anyway, um, yeah, it's really hot today though, I was gonna, uh, that's the reason why I picked up the phone. It's actually really hot today, look at that, sky is pure blue. And my ears were burning without this, this, um, long rimmed hat. So I put, I put it on right away. And it really helps, it really does help, like, desperately. If I didn't have it, my ears would be burning. It, it's really hot, but the mornings are really cool. So I put my plants up like cool and warm temperatures out into the sun within the more exposure zone. Um, so that they get the variety of the weather because there's frost in the mornings. And I'm like, frost really? In February? But yeah, it's true. It's like quite cool in the mor mornings. And I've even needed a blanket on. So, um... Yeah, so that's a catch up on my day, and now I'm just going to go inside and start working, so this is my freedom. And for lunch I got like a mousse, a stacked, a, a double layer mousse cake. It's got with a chocolate thing on top, so it looks really yummy. I would go and get a picture of it, but someone's in the kitchen doing work, so I won't take a picture of it, but it looks really nice. Maybe I'll look at it before I eat it or something. But I was like, oh, I want to try that cake. Uh, like, do you want something else? I'm like, yeah, I wonder, I wonder that, that mousse thing that down there. <laughs> anyway, I gotta, I gotta get onto the internet. I gotta do my stuff. I'm so excited because every opportunity to put my stuff up is an opportunity to maybe get a viral and make millions. So... <laughs> Maybe. I, I think I'm really kidding myself sometimes, but sometimes, you know, there is interest. I was sued off one of my most successful stories. Like someone said, oh, it's exactly like my my story. And it's like, it's nothing like your story. Then they picked up half, half sentences and two point dual words, like two words together to combine to say this is exactly. And it was nothing like their story. And yes, I did borrow their book, and yes, I was sort of using the book for some in inspiration with writing, but I wasn't copying off it, and it wasn't anything like their story. And I'm like, but because they're famous, they're making claim with fame under them, and then they're like, you know, the judge was, the judge was uncertain, but the, the judge was in the end swayed when they were like saying, well, I'll take down the whole system, the whole system of online selling will be corrupted because you know my this and that because of my input of against this but when when you diagnose the two literatures it's like nothing like their literature I'm not trying to write like their literature I, I mean I borrowed they were linked to the librarian who I borrowed from when I was previously living in this area by the way so it's a little snitch group 